Welcome to part two of my guide on installing Zynga on Scientific Linux 6 with PostgreSQL. At the end of our last video, uh, we were taking a look at the console for the classic web interface. And uh, you can see here now that the checks have run and that Zynga is uh, working just fine now. So we will go ahead and install the web interface, or the new web interface. And I downloaded the source from the website. I'm going to go into there. And for this, we have a rather complicated configure to run. I'm just going to paste that into here. And these options are for uh, the particular of a scientific Linux install, um, the Postgres requirements, um, particularly this socket right here for communicating with the database. And so we'll just get that to run. It takes only a few seconds. Do we make install? And once this is done, we will switch to the database user and create a new user for a new database we are about to create. Okay, exit out of there, and we do not need to add the PLPG SQL. And now we need to edit the configuration file to allow access. And all the times that I've done this, trying to figure this out, the only method that seems to work consistently is to do a host. use the IPv6 address for some reason and to trust it. And we need to do that for both databases because they will need access to both. If you have some explanation as to why this seems to be the only thing that works, go ahead and leave it in the comments and I will update the video or the description um, for later viewers. Okay, so now we can reload Postgres. Initialize the database. And then uh, install the Apache configuration and be done. Okay, and at this point I'm just going to go ahead and restart all of the services There, has to, there seems to be some, either something I'm forgetting, but doing this seems to resolve it, or just rebooting the computer if you want to do that. Okay, 
So now we can switch back over to the browser. I'll just create a new tab and go to Itsinga Web. And you'll get a login with a username and password. And by default, you can just do root and password. should get logged in and you can see that all the information from the Xinga classic interface is also available one up seven okay one warning one up seven okay one warning and you can just view all of this just like uh, normal. All right, thank you for watching this video.